Good morning. My name is Claudia. Uh, this is my Wonderless Canino. Today is Wednesday, October 11th, day 26 on Camino Santiago Frances. I am leaving Trebadello, uh, going to Linares, which is just three and a half kilometers past O Sobrero. It is 635. I didn't look up the temperature, but it's chilly. Um, I don't know. I'll, <laughs> you know, I think maybe nine, um, but it'll be warm today too. I'm the second person to leave the albergue. The mom's already left. Uh, I'm going the right way. I'll check in with you in a little bit later. Okay, it says it's 11. A high of 27 today. Um, sunrise is at 8.35. So in two hours from now. Um, I can't remember. I think I looked and it said um, it'll take me, well, 18 kilometers to get to Osobrero. But... Uh, three hours until I start climbing. Um, I mean, straight up the steep climb. So that'll be, it'll be light by then, so which is good. I didn't want to climb up in the dark. So I'll chat later. And I'm walking back to the albergue. <laughs> I forgot my hiking poles again. And it was a good thing because I heard the person behind me and they were clicking away and I'm like, uh, wait a second, my hands look really free. I'm not far, like, I don't know, three minutes away, so. Okay, got my poles. I ran down a bit. Uh, let's talk about wardrobe. Uh, did I say? It's 12. Uh, I have 27 or something like that. Feels a lot colder than 12. Um, I'm wearing my toque, uh, my buffer on my neck. I'm wearing my mid layer, so a bit warmer. Still wearing shorts. My legs are fine, not cold. Uh, I hate when my ears are cold, so that's why I am wearing my toque. Uh, it, it's quite chilly. I have my gloves uh, in just in my side pocket, so if I need to grab them. It feels quite chilly. I might need them. My hands are cold. But yeah. All right, let's get going now. <laughs> We're just uh, walking uh, along a uh, road. Here there's no path. Uh, I think this is just like uh, cars coming off the highway or like a main road. gas station and then there's a hotel here. And since leaving Trabadello it's been mostly on the side of uh, a main road. The same that we walked yesterday into Trabadello. It's the same road. It is 8.30. I've been walking for almost two hours. Eight kilometers done. Uh, I'm in, I don't, I can't remember the name of the town. I'm in a little town. I haven't, I mean, we've been slowly going up, but we haven't, I haven't reached Faba. Faba, which means after that, it's straight up. Uh, Today is October 11th, 
tomorrow is October 12th. It is a, it is Spain's national day. Spain's national day, October 12th. Which means tonight and tomorrow, the municipal uh, albergues are closed. Um, a lot of people weren't aware. I mean, they knew it might be a holiday, but they weren't aware that the albergues would be closed. Uh, so, most people were counting on staying in Osobrero at the municipal, uh, but it's closed tonight. So everyone's scrambling to find a place to stay and it's turning out to be extremely difficult because uh, some uh, private albergues are closed as well for the holiday. Uh, I had, I was aware of the holiday, so I had booked ahead. I'm staying in Linares. I know that my albergue is sold out. And then on the 12th, I'm staying in Samos in a um, private, I have a private room in Casa Botica. So, I reserved that, but yeah, um, some people are have nowhere to stay, they're not sure what they're going to do, because it's already it's 21 kilometers to Linares, and then you have, to, you have to go further, but it's also the climb, that's, you know, so mark that on your calendars, so you know for next year, if you're coming in September. I just stopped for a Café Con Leche, and as you can see, I'm still wearing my toque and my gloves. It is quite chilly. I needed to warm up, and I wanted a croissant. And I stopped at a panaderia, which is a bakery, or like a, yeah, a bakery. And uh, they were all out of croissants. They had just finished. It was just before 8.30. Um, and they actually make make them there. Uh, but I wanted to uh, thank Louise. Thank you so much for buying me enough cafe colleges to last me the rest of my journey. Thank you, thank you. I'm so grateful. And uh, it makes me really happy to know that my videos are bringing you joy um, and uh, fond memories of the Camino for you. And I'm sure soon you'll be walking another Camino. So thank you, Louise. Thanks so much. And I've met so many Australians on the Camino. And actually last night, Casa Susie, the owner, she's uh, Australian. And there were two Hospitaleros volunteers there from Australia. So yeah, lots of Australians on the Camino. Ah, uh, so thank you, Louise. You can get a horse from March 15 to October 31st, 50 euros, and it will take you up from La Herrera, so from here to Osobrero, two hours. You can take the horse up, and the horse takes the same path as the pilgrims, and you're not disqualified from getting a Compostela. Uh, I think horses are part of the, uh, you know, how you do the Camino. So that's an option if you want to do that. And I'm thinking if it takes the horse two hours to get from here to Osobrero, how long is it going to take me? <sighs>
It's a McDonald's horse. <laughs> Here are the horses. Are you going to take a horse up? Yes. Wow. There's one free. No thanks. <laughs> I'm going to see if I can get um, a stamp somewhere here. I wonder if it's something to do with the horses. <laughs> Watson, is this up to code? What do you say? And yes, there's people living in it. Is it up to code? Okay, I just had a tea to warm up. Um, it is, oops, 940, uh, 12 kilometers, two hours and 50 minutes. So. I needed to warm up, it's really cold. I could have probably worn my rain pants this morning. Um, at one point I couldn't feel my legs, so that's how cold it was. So, yeah. All right, uh, I think we should start climbing any minute. I saw the horses, uh, the two ladies and the guide leave on their horses. So that means, uh, they won't pass me, but I'll probably pass their poop on the way up. So that will be lovely. Okay, this is it. We are leaving the road and taking the path now to La Saba. Although I'm confused. Oh, uh, bikes. Sebrero bikes. And you see the bikes. And this is us. We're taking and it started to the sun is out so it's starting to warm up although here now in the shade I was going to take off my sweater but it's kind of chilly here so I'm going to leave it on for now so after oh you see the so the horses take this way as well with the pilgrim walkers. So after the Faber is when we're gonna, when there's a steep um, incline on a path uh, like this. Right now, um, and it's straight down. goal for this morning. Try not to step in horse poop. And whew, I'm really glad uh, uh, we're in the shade. And uh, it's kind of chilly this morning. I did peel off my sweater and my beanie and gloves. Uh, but can you imagine in the summer with the heat and the smell of the door, dog, dog, the horse poop, ooh, and the flies, no flies yet, but I can imagine maybe later this afternoon, it's supposed to get warm, probably flies. I feel like a hobbit. According to Google, I checked yesterday and they said 18 and a half kilometers from Trebadello to Osobrero. That means we have another four kilometers like this. Also now, not sure if you can tell, it's like a muddy 
kind of thing. So is it just mud or horse poop mixed into the mud? And the smell, hmm. Am I really selling the Camino, guys? Huh, do you really wanna come? I wanna say this deep part is over, but I've never done this before, so I know we still have um, three kilometers to go. It's like this. Maybe it'll just be like rolling hills now. I'd be okay with that. Galicia. Yay! We just left Castillo Leon and now we're in Galicia. But this is the first official Galician. Guys like me, a lollygagger. Oh, here he comes. He was eating some grass. He got distracted like me. <laughs> oh, there he goes. <laughs> Too funny. This is a statue of. Okay, we made it up to Osobrero. This is Osobrero. It's just a little quaint little town. Uh, not sure if there's actually people that live here, but it's mostly little restaurants and these little um, huts, houses, original houses and some albergues. Um, most of them book up fairly quickly. <laughs> they have the church, and I believe nightly mass is at, I wanna say 6.30. Lego soup, which is like, I think, beans and cabbage, and it smells delicious. Some of the bread and an Aquarius. Can I sit here? Yeah, you can. Okay, 
leaving El Sobrero. It is one o'clock, 20 kilometers walked. I have another three kilometers according to Buen Camino. That is the municipal albergue, which is closed today because tomorrow is a national holiday. Oh, I just had that soup. It was delicious. Perfect. I wanted to buy a big hunk of cheese to have, but um, it was quite heavy. Um, so, no cheese. I thought maybe, because they had a cheese there with a shell on top, and it looked really good. It smelled really stinky, and I like those. Uh, but it was quite heavy. Okay, I'm in Linares. This is Linares. <laughs> uh, that white house is my albergue. Uh, I believe there's a store that closes at nine and no restaurants. Uh, my albergue has a kitchen so we can make meals. Uh, I think I'm just gonna have something light. Uh, although I still feel full from the soup, so we'll see. Is Alberge Linar de Rey, my Alberge. Fingers crossed, I get a bottom bunk. Okay, this is my room. Only four beds. Uh, obviously, I picked this one. Got the window here. There is a small problem. The problem is that there's a family booked into here. Two adults, and now they're bringing their two small children. They asked me if that was okay with me. I mean, everything is booked. So I guess it has to be okay. They've been trying to reach them and tell them they can't come, but someone was asking me about um, bed bugs. I haven't had any bed bugs. Most of the beds now are this plastic cover and so are the pillows. You can tell. Everything is covered in this plastic. Okay. And then in this case, um, you get uh, like a bed sheet and other places you get a paper sheet. So I, I haven't encountered any bed bugs at all. I haven't spoken to anyone who's encountered bed bugs. Um, yeah, we haven't had any stories of bed bugs this far. Um, so as far as I know, we're all good. This is the women's washroom. There is two showers and then two toilets. I'm assuming the men's is the same. <laughs> Here, the rooster. Okay, today we went from Trepidello to Osobrero. It was a good walk. Um, some parts were really uh, steep uphill, but it wasn't too bad. Um, I think it took me, I left at six and I got to Osobrero at noon, but I had a few breaks in there. Um, it wasn't bad at all. It was getting warm by the end. I think that was the heat mostly that was bothering me. Other than that, it was fine. Also, Brero was really cute. Um, yeah, it was a good day today. I'm in Linares. Uh, there's only this albergue. There is a little um, store uh, that serves like coffee and stuff, but I think they close at nine. Um, I bought some bread, avocado, and egg, and made an avocado 
Oh, excuse me. I'm so tired today. I made an avocado and eggs, uh, like bread, avocado, and a soft boiled egg. That's what I had. Um, and that's it. That's all for today. It was 12 euros to stay here. Um, 12 euros to stay. And then I think I spent maybe 15 euros on food. And that's all I've spent today. So that is what? Uh, 27? 27 euros. I think that's the least I spent so far. Um, yeah. Tomorrow I'm going to Samos. Tomorrow is also the National Spanish Day. A lot of things are closed. I have two soft boiled eggs for my breakfast. We'll see what I can find. Maybe something will be open so I can have coffee. We'll see. Um, I have a private room tomorrow um, because of the holiday. And then, uh, yeah, and then I'm Saria. I'm, <laughs> I'm, tomorrow is Thursday. I'll be walking into Santiago on Monday. It's crazy to think that. Just, I, I can't believe it. Like, uh, I've been walking for, what is it? 30, well, 20, today was day 26. Yeah, crazy, crazy. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Thank you for following. Um, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Have a good night.